Hey, welcome to this radio video and today two websites I'm going to talk about for anyone listening to amateur radio operators on the amateur bands. Um, what's very, very interesting is that when you listen to amateur radio stations, you hear basically stations from all around the world. And it's kind of difficult to know where they are unless they state or they tell you right away, hello, this is my call, I'm in you know, Belgium or United States or even in a country like big countries like you know the US or Canada. Knowing where they are in the country also is useful, you know, if someone tells you I'm in Canada, well, Canada is big and actually from Montreal listening to Vancouver is as far away as listening to a station in Europe. So there's a way to actually know quite fast where a station is and it's by using one of these two websites. Uh, the most popular probably of all is QRZ.com. QRZ.com is a really, really complete database of amateur radio operators. So what you do when you, once you get to QRZ.com website is enter the call sign of a station. So that's pretty cool. All you have to do is click enter a call sign. Let's say uh, that I have a uh, call sign from someone I hear on the shortwave bands. Let's say ON4LAS. Uh, I don't know if it exists. We're going to try it. And you click search. And so this one doesn't exist. So, you know, if you get this, you know that, okay, maybe you misunderstood the letters, the call letters. Uh, but it does give you a hint. It tells you that, you know, ON4 looks like a call sign from Belgium. So, you have an idea that probably you're listening to Belgium and you'll have to, uh, you know, get a right call. Let's say I'm going to try another one. Uh, VE2DPO, which I know that exists. Um, I'm going to click search. Well, you get full information about this station. It tells you who he is, his own street address. Um, and if you are an amateur radio operator that is logged in, you even have emails that are available for amateur stations. Now, some of them have information. More than that, others don't. This one is very simple, just, you know, it's just an entry. But some stations, um, let's say W5KAS. Well, this one exists. This one is also a very simple one, you know. There are amateur radio stations um, that have more details and here you know I don't find any one with more details but a lot of stations will actually have images, pictures, uh, even a picture of the QSL card, their shack. Uh, it's a very very complete website for that and so uh, this is is a really really cool um, website for that and uh, trying to find by any chance amateur stations but you know uh, as you see here just by chance I'm not really having a lot of chance but uh, or let's try N5 XTC here we get uh, Scott which is a uh, viewer to my hangouts and here he's got a picture on the right side He's got, uh, you know, a little tag here, a nice little picture tag. He even has logs, as you see here at the bottom. These are logs of stations that he's actually contacted with time and frequency. So you actually have kind of a real-time uh, information of stations that he's uh, been contacting, which is very, very, very nice. So, um, and you also have maps. You also have... Um, you know, for example, this is a video that he's linked on his uh, page, which is very nice. So this is pretty cool. And he's got all sorts of little tags here for different clubs. And so it's very complete, you know. Uh, this is probably the best website for that because you get a lot of information on different amateur radio operators on this website and it's pretty cool but you have to subscribe if you want to have information you need to subscribe it's free 
and once you've subscribed you'll get more details if you don't subscribe it's going to tell you the country but it's not going to give you any other details about that now one thing that um, is uh, probably the, the the negative part for me on uh, this website is if you don't pay a fee for um, a better access qrz.com will limit you to 25 searches per day now if you listen to only a few stations amateur stations here and there it's not really a big problem but in contests for example when I listen to a full day of contesting well I will get to that 25 limit so what do you do if you enter the 25 limit well first of all you can subscribe and pay a fee which will give you uh, unlimited access um, and if you're an amateur radio operator you also have the added bonus of seeing email here instead of ham members only uh, there's also another place where you can actually go which is qrzcq.com if you go to qrzcq.com same thing you can search for a station let's try in 5xtc here you'll have the station uh, what I like about this one is the fact that it has uh, not only the address, but it also has a Google Maps with a little red uh, balloon here that shows you where, you know, it pinpoints you where it is on a map, which is very nice. And I like that added feature of the QRZCQ site. And uh, like QRZ.com, some amateur stations have a lot of info on this website, but there are less stations with full you know, pictures and all in this website than there are on QRZ.com because QRZ.com is really the most popular of all. What's nice about QRZCQ is there's no um, really no limit. You can actually uh, search for as many stations as you want and uh, you can if you're an amateur radio operator you can of course register which is free uh, but if you're not an amateur radio operator uh, you cannot register because you need a amateur call sign to register to the website or else you'll be deleted so they they don't ask for example they, they will not accept a um, self-made um, shortwave listening uh, call sign for example like the one I have from Radio Budapest that I've kept basically as an official um, shortwave call sign. So uh, qrzcq.com is uh, fantastic for searching any call letters of amateur stations you hear on the bands and qrz.com, another great, great website. Um, if you don't search more than 25 a day, of course, I, I, I give my preference to QRZ.com, which often has much more information. And, you know, you get these pictures of all these stations and their shacks. And a lot of them actually show you uh, their shacks, the radios they use. And it's really cool to look at. So uh, QRZ.com. And if you go over the 25 searches limit, then why not go to QRZCQ.com, where you'll be um, simply, um, you know, searching for stations as much as you want and um, you know some of them have logins that uh, they registered and they have all the information that required and pictures but um, you know there's more on qrz.com than on this one so two great websites to search for amateur stations know where they are and uh, you know what i used to have a lot of fun doing one thing um, before they changed their policy uh, emails were available even for shortwave listeners and um, you know for a year or two I had a lot of fun writing to stations letting them know that I'm actually uh, I've listened to them on what frequency and what time and I know a lot of uh, amateur stations actually enjoy knowing that a shortwave listener was uh, listening to them so it's pretty cool for that um, but uh, I've noticed that the QRZCQ.com, when people put their email address, when they're registered, uh, the email address are visible to pretty much everyone. So you can actually write them, let them know, and, um, you know, maybe uh, ask for a QSL, but mostly an eQSL. One thing for sure is if you want to ask for a QSL for an amateur radio operator, remember these are the average guy like you and me. They're not millionaires, so see if they get requests of 100 QSL cards a month. It costs a lot of money to process. 
So if you really want a QSL, I would, the suggestion I would make is that you can send a letter, but make sure that you enclose uh, a self-addressed stamped envelope so that it doesn't cost uh, postage and all of that to the amateur radio operator to send you a QSL. But best, and that's what I use most of the time, uh, you, you send a little email and you say, do you have an eQSL? which of course doesn't cost anything because it's um, you know an image that's put on a email. So these are two websites to find the calls of any amateur radio operators that you hear on the bands. QRZCQ.com and QRZ.com. If you enjoy your videos, why not subscribe to your channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Lots of radio videos here and live hangouts every two weeks. So why not join the fun of shortwave radio listening? Thanks for watching.